بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Welcome again to Refresh Your Iman Another episode of reminding ourselves because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala order us in the Quran وذكر فإن ذكرى remind indeed a reminder would benefit the believer I want to remind myself and remind the brothers and sisters watching here on something that is inevitable and this is the day of Qiyamah Yawm al-Aras, Yawm al-Qiyamah on the land of Qiyamah According to Hadith Anas bin Malik radiyallahu anhu Qiyamah will take place on a flat land The sand of that land would be so white, so pure because no sin has ever committed on it the sun would be above mankind and jinn to the distance of a meal or a mile, which is a short, very short distance. On that day when people are resurrected, no one can bring anything from this dunya, no status, no wealth, no shade, no umbrellas, there are no trees and so on. On that day, everybody will be naked and dressed. But on that day, something important would happen to everyone and that is everyone will run away from the ones that they love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala painted the pictures in the Quran and he said يَوْمَ يَفِرُّ الْمَرْءُ مِنْ أَخِيهِ وَأُمِّهِ وَأَبِيهِ وَصَاحِبَتِهِ وَبَنِيهِ now I want you to concentrate on this ayah on that day يَوْمَ يَفِرُّ الْمَرْءُ مِنْ أَخِيهِ today a man will run from his own sibling you run away from your sibling. Now, let us rewind that relationship in this dunya. Your sibling in this dunya was the shoulder that you lean on, was the support that you needed. However, that brother of yours, that sibling of yours, it would be the person that you will run away from him. Now, these two, now the mother, Subhanallah, on the other hand, is the one that the Messenger of Allah, when his Sahabi came to him and said, Man nasi bi suhbati? Who should I keep the closest companion of mine? Who should be my best friend? Who should be the one that I always, you know, be with? Qala ummuk, three times. But on that day, the day of Yawm al Qiyamah, you will run and I will run from my mother. I love my mother, Rahimahallah. And I will, I'm willing to give anything of this dunya just to be with her for an hour. For an hour. But on the day of Yawm al Qiyamah, I was told, and I believe since I believe this would happen, that I will run away from. Yawm yafirru al mar'u min akhi wa ummi. And she will run away from you, subhanAllah. Your own mother that gave birth to you will run away from you. And your father. You will run from him and he will run away from you. The man that you know earned from halal and haram to provide for you, the man that who used to feel proud for every time that you step, you take a step in this slight forward, now on the day of Yom al Qiyamah, you will run away from him and he will run away from you. And he said, وصاحبته وبني. Your wife and your children, you will also run away from them. The wife, because of her, you disown your parents, you cut off your siblings, and because of those children, you earn from halal and haram, all of them we will run away from one another. Why? Because Allah said, He said, every one of them, every single person that I mentioned, including you, the main character, you would have something to be concerned, and that is your nafs. And that's what everybody will say, nafsi, nafsi, nafsi. In this short reminder, I want you to be ready for that day. I know no one can ever be ready 100%, but be ready for it. Be mindful of it. Be a person that is willing to face on that, to face that day when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, everyone will run away from you. But the only one that will remain with you is your righteous deed and your evil deed. So make sure you increase your righteous deeds as much as you can. And you make sure you limit your sins and your evil deeds as much as you can because it will, they will come after you. 
May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make that day for us a day of ease and comfort. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shelter us under his shade when the day when there's no shade but his. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from protect us from Jahannam. Wal iyadu billah. Wa barakallahu fikum ala husn istima'ikum. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.